All right, hey friends, welcome to the live stream. So today we are working on a beat in Koala. Koala Sampler just got a massive update. Actually, let me add my camera, sorry about that. Koala Sampler just got a massive update, adding a mixer here, which has four bus channels, which you can put different pads into, and then it's even got a master channel. So I wanna see if we can master in Koala with some of these effects they've given. So today, this is a song I've been working on, uh, but we're going to take a few samples that were sent to me over on my podcast channel, Audionautic. Uh, we have a Discord and some samples were sent over to me. So we're going to flip those. So what I'm thinking is we've got some drums that someone filmed with a phone, a song that um, someone sent. So I think we can stem separate that one, combine some of the drums together using some sample chops and sample combining. We'll chop up a guitar sample that another person sent and then we'll make a beat using all of these different sounds so if you're watching this back after it airs i'll have timestamps for all these different things if you're new to koala or need a refresher on how to make songs on it i'll have timestamps. if you're watching live i appreciate you joining me on the journey live uh, and then i'll show some of the effects that have been added how to use the bus effects my recommendations for bus effects as you can see i've got some here on this song and then We'll see if we can master on it and I'll show you the chain that I'm using. Um, I appreciate you hanging out. Let me know in the comments or in the chat. Have you used the new Koala update? What do you think about it? Uh, is there anything you're feeling stuck on with it? Let me know and I'll cover it in this. If you want to help support the channel, I've got super chats uh, and then we've got memberships now. So if you want to join, there's behind the scenes stuff. There's uh, I'll be putting samples up and things like that on there as well. And then you get access to the beats I make. Um, but of course, just hang out is more than enough. But let's get into these samples. I'm going to switch um, projects and we'll go to that. So let's go over there. I've got it. Quality Discord samples. And let us let me show you what we've got so far. And, and how's everybody doing today? Let me know in the chat. It's been crazy. This is my first live stream back since uh, I had a newborn. And then I stopped doing live streams in the summer because it gets really hot in the shed. So I appreciate you helping me dust off the cobwebs of the live streams, but I've missed hanging out with all of you. So yeah, let me know what you're up to and um, let's, let's check out these samples. So let me raise the volume back. So we got this really cool tapping guitar part from Maureen's friend. And let me show you what the sample actually looks like. That's not the right sample. Here we go. This is pretty long, so we'll truncate that and then we'll use auto chop to put that down. I also just added some vinyl crackles from koala just you know because i think we're gonna make boom bap or beats so we'll have that there i've got this is a trippy modular sound it's like 10 minutes long i think from uh bendu but i think there's a section here that's pretty crazy but i think we can actually make it kind of sound like a shaker or something like that so we'll get to there as well this awesome song from survey channel so that's what we'll stem split and then these are the drums, also from Maureen's friend. You can hear there's a lot of mud because this is from a uh, phone recording. So I think that's where I want to start. Um, well, first, actually, let's let's chop up these guitars because that's probably the most fun part. So let's just take the first. It's a pretty long loop, so I think we'll take. Let's see where it ends. Right there. Okay. We just need that first part. So if you want to zoom in, get a more fine-tuned sequence, just pinch, pinch out, pinch in if you want to go back out. Okay, I think that's perfect. And we'll just add a little release to it. And then let's do auto chop. So you go to tools. Actually, first, let's cut out the low end. So I don't think we're going to want the low end there. Okay. And then we're going to, I like when I'm sampling to either pitch up or pitch down. So I think we'll pitch up, but let's hear what it sounds like pitch down. Uh, that's tough because I like it slow. I feel like that's got a real smooth vibe to it, but then sped up. A little more happy but it might hit harder let's try it slow okay let's do that and let's go back here we'll go to sample go to tools auto chop i'm gonna do equal and i think we'll do eight chops 
Let's try 16. No, uh, maybe four. And you can move where the samples end and start just by moving these around. Actually, I just made another one. Whoops. I think you just tap them, yeah, to get rid of it. There we go. Yeah, that should work. All right, so we chopped that. Actually, I forgot to put them in a choke group. So actually, I'm gonna delete those. I want to start over. You could just add them to a choke, but I'd rather do it in the chop. Let's see if it remembers the chops we did, actually. It does. So I'm gonna do a choke group so that when I hit each one, it ends the previous one. So it doesn't keep playing. So we'll do that. All right, so these are in a weird spot. So I'm gonna move these down. Okay, here we go. And we'll just delete these other ones. Yeah, that should work. Okay, now let's get these drums. And I may speed these up, we'll see. I wanna try the slower approach first. We'll do like 96 BPM and see what we've got there. So I think there's a section here. Yeah, there's a section without the hi-hats. That's what I wanna get first. Okay, so we just need a kick. So I'm gonna to go to the kick first. Perfect. And I think the snare was right here. And you can see there's some dead space at the start. Also in this one, you can actually see there's a little space right there. So we're going to just trim that out. Okay, perfect. Now let's get to tweaking this. I don't like a lot of decay on my kicks, so taking a lot out and I think that will also help with the mud you can actually see koalas added a EQ per pad which is crazy because something like the SP which I always use doesn't have that so we're going to trim some of that mud but up the low end and then we'll take out some of the high end and then this one I don't know if we're gonna get, maybe we can get something out of this. So I'm just messing with the pitch. Maybe if we truncate it. What if we really? <laughs> just seeing if I can get more of a click sound. There's a really nasty harmonic. Let's go about there and I'll just take out some of that ring. Okay, there we go. Now what I think we'll do to fix these drums is we're going to um, stem split this and see if we can get some of the percussion from this mixed with those other drums. So that's the plan. So what I'm going to do is take this, I don't know why that has some EQ already on it, but let's go here and we'll go to split stems. Honestly, I just want the drums. So I'm just gonna do the drums split. Now this, I should add, the stem splitting in Koala is uh, pretty artifact heavy. Um, it works, but you can hear there's some bass coming through and things like that. I mean, it's still awesome. You're still separating it quite drastically, but but it is there. But I think we can get, if we move that, let's get that kick right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna take 
that original kick. I'm going to take out all the high end. And let's mix this one in. See what happens. We have some weird clicking. That should work. Let's. Just testing what that's sounding like. Okay, now let's get back to the sample and let's hear if we can get a snare sound. Ooh, that's perfect. We might actually. If I can get, I'm gonna try to redo that one. I'm not liking where that's going, but let's go back here. And bring back some of that. Drop the volume. Let's see what happens if we mix those now. That's eh, not quite where I want it, but. There's like a lot of decay on it, but we'll see. We might be able to get something from it. Okay. I really like this drum. And I think maybe we can just get this one, use this one as is. We'll just trim some of that. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring some of the high end back. We might even just use this. Let's drop it down. Yeah, maybe we use that mixed one. More like a tom. Raise the pitch. We'll drop some low end on it. Can do some weird like quantizing with it. Trim it really far. Yeah, that works. Okay, we've got it there. So now we've got our drums. And I'm gonna put these in a bus now. We'll do bus A for drums. And I'm gonna add some effect. We've already got some effects. I, I think this was an old project I had, so let's change these up. I'll just take these. We'll leave drive on, we'll leave bit cooker, but I'm gonna take off reverb. And I'm gonna just clear out the rest of these. So we've got it freed to do more. That's one problem. I like to just use old files and then you're stuck with the remnants of what that was. <laughs> but we'll leave the compressor on and we'll go from there. So let's see what that sounds like now with this on. There we go. Much better. All right, let's see if we can get a hi-hat and then we're going to move to the guitars. I think we spent enough time on the um, drums. That might be a hi-hat right there. You can kind of see that waveform that's tinier. Maybe that one. Lots of... No, I think we'll need to get that hi-hat from this one. So let's see what we can find here. We'll move it down here. That's pretty crazy. There's a hi-hat. Perfect. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit. We'll put the drums over on B if it stops moving. <laughs> there we go, okay. We'll put it the way I like to have it set, which is hi-hat next to the snare. And then we'll put that tom up a little bit. Okay, and let's trim this hi-hat up a little bit. Perfect. All right, and we'll make a couple other ones. Let's find another hi-hat. Maybe this right here. That's actually a pretty cool sound. 
Yeah. Alright, but we still need one more hi-hat, so let's move that over. I'm betting this tiny little one right here is a hi-hat. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Let's see about sequencing some drums and then we'll go from there. So we got 96 BPM. I'm going to put some swing on. I'm going to leave quantize on. Let's just get something in. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now let's add, forget which ones are the hi-hats. Yeah, this one. Perfect, okay, and we can take that kick down. Okay, we've got a basic sequence in there now, so let's see what we can do with some guitars. I think we'd need to go slower if we wanted that. Yeah, so we're gonna go, let's repitch these, that's what I thought. I think we'll do three. Let's do three. Okay, is that up three? No, that went down. It does not want to stay at three. Okay, let's see about that. So I think the timing's a bit off there. That's because it went up. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's undo that. All right, maybe we can just time stretch it and do, let's see about that. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do two, two beats each. Let's do two beats. And we'll add a little attack. I hear some clicking. There we go. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, okay, I think we just need to up the volume. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I think let's liven those up a bit. We'll do some drive. I don't have it on yet. I'm just going to set this. I love bit cooker, so that's what we're going to set. Do some really low sample rate, get it really gritty. Let's do 12. And we'll just drop this to 12 as well. Okay, let's set those now. Put those in. blanking here hold on a second there we go if you go to mix go to main we're gonna set bus B you can already hear the gains going up because it's got that drive 
So if I just shut the mix off with the bit cooker, that's a dry, but we're gritting it up a little bit. There we go. Let's get some filter on it. And take a little delay. We'll sync it to to put side chain on it but then that takes away from the warble. Let's try warble first. Yeah there we go. Alright. I think we got something now. I'm gonna put that vibra flange on. Perfect. So, I'm going to stop that because I think over on that song from Survey Channel, this one, I'm going to move that over to C. I think we can get if we, thinking if we do some time stretching, we might be able to get some interesting sounds, maybe a synth. We still need a bass too. We might have to use a stock koala sound, but um, I'm. we'll see. We'll see about that. I'm going to try to do this synth first. I want to see what we can do with that. So let me take this. We might have to repitch it and stuff like that, but I'm going to make two copies and I'm going to go here. And first of all, we're going to take out the low end. And we might move this around a little bit. We'll see, but let me go back to sample. And so we need to find a section. It has some drums, but maybe we can make that work. And then let's find a chord change. Maybe right there. Whoop. I know it's got some percussion in it, but we'll see. It might get kind of trippy if we do Time stretch it, do one beat. Could be something, I don't know. We'll see, so first we need to try to get that in key. That's not right. That's almost. Let me move one of those guitars over here. Well, we could maybe do piano roll. I just need this to be louder. So I'm going to put that in, not delete. We're going to go to mix and let's go to bus C and over in bus C mixer. We're going to, first of all, just add, let's do some drive. I don't know why I'm really feeling the drive right now. I guess I'm going for something really gritty. <laughs> let's get, um, Bit cooker, of course, we'll drop it down. And then let's go. Hmm. If we do compressor, it's going to get some of those sounds. But let's do utility and just up the gain a little bit. And maybe that'll clean it up. OK, we got it. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to go into. Oh, that's right. You can't scale if you do that. OK, so we can't do that. Plan has to change, so let's go here. That might work. Let me get that other guitar chord. Or let's just hear it in the pattern, actually. 
hearing the sound that I want, unfortunately, but that's alright. I think we can get away with that. We'll just use that. So let's make a copy. Not reverb, I mean, we don't need that thing anymore. So let's add, um, let's put a side chain to the kick. And then I want to put some reverb on it. Massive reverb. Just in the background. And in this one, we've got the piano roll. I want one more hi-hat. So let's move that. Yeah, we repitched that and then we're gonna go, I believe you can do 16 levels or at least note repeat. Yeah, that'll give it, you can just control the velocity. There we go. Technically I'm in mono, so all it's really doing is changing the volume, but that's fine. And we're gonna take out the high end on these. And let's up. There we go. Okay, so we do need a bass, technically. But I really like where this is sounding. One thing we could do is, uh, actually let's try it. Let's take, make a copy, and then we're gonna just keep the guitars. Everything else can go. So all these drums, we can just delete. You just hold your finger down, and then highlight the area and delete. And there we go. That should be everything. So. I'm gonna shut that vibro flange off. And I'm going to shut that delay off. Because we're gonna bounce this, resample it. Resample loop. And I'm gonna drop it. Now it sounds really slow, but we're gonna time stretch it. And we're just gonna take out all the high end. Now we've got kind of a bass. I mean, it works. Ideally, I would add some bass, but I don't think we're gonna do that today. Um, let's see how this sounds in there. Let's add that bass. Definitely add some bass. that in D and I'm gonna sidechain that one as well. I 
think we'll do another filter on this. It's that filter really adds some color, so I want to put that on there. Let's do a compressor. And then I want to put side chain. So now the kick and the bass don't compete as much. Okay, so there we go. So, uh, we've got a pretty basic beat going on. So let's actually do a little bit of structuring. Maybe we would start with... I want some hi-hats there, so let's delete this one. I think we would start the song with minus the kick or maybe actually we can make a duplicate kick let's go to where our kicks are oh, we still need that sound too actually but we can throw that in later um, let's make another kick we'll delete this Put, why did that not clear oh we're in pattern sequence I'm sorry we need to go back to the mix here we go so let's delete this guy move the kick and this one no low end and then we're going to put this track down here find where the kick is that guy and it should be somewhere this one so we're just going to highlight all of this hit copy go right to this first section of b1 hit paste Actually, I should have deleted while I had it highlighted, but that's all right. Here we go. And then I would probably switch here and start like that. With the filter. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So. And then we just slowly start introducing more parts. Maybe actually what we would do, let's put that bass one over there. Does this one have bass? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna add bass back into this one. Well, let's put it, what do we have in this one? That's where that hi-hat gets crazy, yeah. So let's just take that out. We'll put that there. I'm gonna delete this one, move this here. We're gonna simplify the percussion in the first part a little bit and then add percussion as it goes. So that's an easy way to kind of create motion if you don't have a lot of samples to work with and things like that. Um, does this one? I think it has that little synth part, but that's fine. So we'll go to this first one. Now we're in the piano roll again, and we're gonna go, you can move it around by pinching. So I think we'll start with the more basic percussion. And we're also gonna add, I think a little bit of that clickier kick. Let's put it. Right there. No, right here. Here we go. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that gives it a little more bounce. We'll put that here too. All right, and then we'll just, I think there's a way to loop it, but it's gonna be, let's see, can we repeat? Yeah, and then it's off though. But if we do it a second time, we can just do that again. All right, we'll go repeat. Here we go. Highlight it and just move it over one. Doesn't want to cooperate. Oh my, here we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got some bounce to it. Okay, and then we need to just copy that to every other pattern. And I missed one, but that's all right. I'll copy that, go here. That was B1, so it's on that second note, perfect. And we just need to add one right there. All right, go to this one. Let's add three there, and then let's go to velocity change that third velocity down a little bit. That should give a nice little difference. And this one also needs it. Let's add a couple more. And again, we'll go 
with the velocity down, down, down there, down a little bit, put that one down. Okay, let's hear how that sounds. Nice, perfect. Okay, that sounds great. So we now have that bass. That was an easy way to get bass without having to find a sample to add to it and things like that. Yeah, we could get some melody. Actually, another way we can get melody. Let's do this. We can get a little more trippy. Let's go back. I sadly lost that one that just had the guitar only, but we're going to do... So we brought it down in pitch, but let's make the most of this sample that we can. And we'll just make some trippy background sounds. So we have this again. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to resample that loop again. Actually, no, I don't need to. I'm sorry, I forgot. I have this here. So if we just... Let's un so we just copied what we already had, repitched it, but we're gonna shut off time stretch. And let's put that back into bus B. And let's find a little interesting section of it, not just that start point. That's cool. All right, and then what about this one? We can actually get a melody maybe out of this. I want to see something. Let's go into that piano roll and see if we can make a melody out of that keyboard. No, grid. Let's do major. Might have the wrong sound. No, we got the right one. So I'm not sure I like where that sounds. It's all about experimenting and just seeing what's going on. That might work. Let's put it in this one. Copy that though. We're gonna need that moved over. Um, go back to the piano roll because I want it in that other section. If we could just not have that happen. Here we go. This should be that sound. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we just need to put that in here. I think it was on three. 
Yeah. Seems like the bass part is not on anymore. Yeah, we need to get that back on. I don't know why we lost that, but yeah, it's already better with that bass. This one has the bass. Okay, so that means this one. I'm just getting lost in what I'm sequencing. So that means this one, we don't want this little lead sound. Or do we... no, we'll take out that extra hi hat. Here we go. Actually, we'll just lower velocity it or not okay so let's actually just chance no let's just delete them i don't want those we'll just delete perfect so now this one has the bass but not the hi-hats and that last one has the hi-hats perfect okay pretty stoked with that it's it's sloppy it's choppy but i actually really like that vibe for this like i i wanted to go for a very sample heavy warped sound i think we can actually do a little more uh warped sound to it actually let's put that delay back on actually there we go now i think one thing we could do is add a melody and i think that's something that we'll do Maybe when I do this as a final jam for a video or something like that, I want to leave it kind of here. Just leave it as it is. Um, so let's look into mastering it. So I have this compressor on there. So the first thing I'm going to do, what I always like to do when I'm mastering is add some EQ. So I'm going to put some EQ and just, we're just going to, it's not as nuanced as you'd like because you only get three. You don't get five or six different EQs, but we can find some mud to chop out and then we can boost the high end and the low end a little bit. Uh, we need to have the song playing first, so let's get that on. So you can see, there's some mud in the... Let's just put that maybe, let's say, right there. Yeah, right about there. And then we'll up that kick, and I'm going to up the high end a little bit. Now, I've been messing around when you're going for kind of warp destroyed sounds like this. I find adding the um, either Big Hooker or Warble can really do a lot on the master. I'm gonna try the bit cooker. Get it really gritty sounding. Let's do, instead of like the 12 we were doing, let's do 16. And let's drop the bit then. So, just for comparison, this was it all clean. Just adds a little bit of nastiness. Put the jitter up a little bit too. And then we've got the compressor. It's doing a lot right now, so we can tone that down a little bit. Ratio of about two should be good. High attack, high release. If we wanted to, we do that makeup gain. And anything else? I always like to put just a very, very trace amount of reverb. It's more psychoacoustic than it is anything, but I like to have that. And then we can just end it with a limiter. So I think we've got it. I actually really like how that master sounds. Let's mute all that and let's see what that sounds like. So we'll just put them all back on one by one and then we'll see the difference that it can add. I, I love adding masters, you know, adding a little bit of master. It really makes a song liven up a bit. Um, 
but let's hear so this we'll just go to that final part where it has everything the bass that little lead sound and all that so here it is as it is let's put the EQ on okay let's add the bit quicker way grittier off listen to the hi-hat specifically there we go compressor everything's pumping a little bit better really probably can't even hear it this is it up it sounds ridiculous but at a very small amount it's just enough to kind of make everything sound like it's in a room and limiter a little bit more gain that's it all right i mean i think that's about it i'm pretty stoked with how this turned out it, it was a little messy but it came together in the end i think let me know in the chat or in the comments what you think um this was fun. I, I love I love using Koala Sampler, and with the update, it's really come into its own, I think, for sure. Um, I'm actually running it into the SP, but the SP is just acting as my audio interface. But together, I still think these two are the best. I have a video on my channel uh, that shows my old workflow with Koala and the SP, and that's still pretty much how I would do it. I think I would just use a lot more of the mixing in Koala in app before I'd move things to the SP and stuff, but I still love the performance aspect of the SP. You get some of that and we'll, we'll jam around with that when we end, but it's not quite as easy as it is on the SP. But hey, I appreciate you hanging out. I'm gonna do a final jam. If you've got any questions, uh, just let me know before we hop off or let me know in the comments. Um, I appreciate you hanging out and I've got a new piece of gear that's coming today. So I should have another live stream pretty soon that will be with that piece of gear. I think it's going to change the workflow pretty drastically. So I'm excited to get into it. It's going to be a little confusing to use. I think at first it's, it's a bit of a learning curve. It seems from what I've seen online, but it'll be fun. But yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, I appreciate you hanging out and let's jam out.